just wanted to jump in here quickly and say apologies for the audio quality on this one. Not sure what happened, but it was a very quick snackable video anyway, so I thought we'd still release it. Hope you find it useful and normal audio will resume in the next one. Yesterday we were having a session with some of our counterparts from VMware who focused on Azure VMware solutions. And we got into the subject of what seems like a fairly innocent question on the face of it. How do I use Azure Firewall with Azure VMware solutions? And we started on picking it and splitting it into traffic flows. So I thought I'd share it here on the channel in case you're also working as a network architect with Azure, trying to integrate AVS and use the native Azure Firewall. So first of all, let's just baseline what size diagram here. The bits in orange are inside of the Azure region. We've got our regular hub spoke network here, and the hub could be either a virtual WAN hub or a regular customer managed hub VNet, inside of which we'll have an express route gateway and an Azure firewall. If that was a VWAN hub, then of course it would be then called a secured hub. We've got a spoke VNet hanging off it. Over here, we've got Azure VMware solutions, which is our environment for hosting VMware native workloads on top of ESXi and vCR, et cetera. This is also running on physical equipment inside of the Azure region. Today, how we bridge the gap between the Azure SDN over here and AVS is by using an express route circuit. So sometimes this can be confusing when you first look at it because normally express routes are used to get out of the Azure region to on-premises, but here we're using express route circuit in orange to connect back to our gateway inside of the VNet. And we've also got a typical set up here where the customer's got another express route circuit in green to get them back to their on-prem network. I'm concentrating on base network reachability here, so I won't include resilient paths and talk about HA, et cetera. So let's think about these flows one by one. We're going to talk about three separate flows. The first one is how do I go from AVS to my spoke VNet via Azure Firewall? This is the easiest one to think about because it's a pattern that many hundreds, if not thousands of customers are running already today. Because from the perspective of the spoke VNet, when it thinks about how to get to AVS, it's just another express route connected to remote location. So how would we route traffic from the spoke VNet to on-prem today via Azure Firewall? Well, we'd have a UDR on the spoke VNet that sent traffic to the Azure Firewall VIP. And the specificity of that UDR would depend on whether or not your subnets in the spoke have got BGP route propagation turned on in the UDRs. Once that traffic gets to Azure Firewall, Azure Firewall then just routes the traffic as per normal logic. It learns the routes from the express route gateway, which it in turn learned from the circuits in this direction. When the traffic comes back from AVS after being processed inside of the various T0 and T1 routers and gets sent back to this AVS ER circuit, comes back to the express route gateway here. And at that point, we've got the usual requirement to have UDRs on the gateway subnet to send traffic destined for the spoke back to Azure Firewall, which then forwards, as we all understand. So that's flow one, very easy to understand. Let's think about flow two, which is how do I go from AVS to the internet via Azure Firewall? And what I mean by this specifically is how do I leverage a default route? to get to Azure Firewall out to the internet, not how do I use a proxy solution. So in order to steer traffic to unknown destinations on the public internet this way, we know as network architects that we need to advertise a default route this way. So we need to advertise a zero zero route this way via BGP from the express route gateway. And that's not something which is straightforward to do in Azure, it's sending all traffic into Azure via force tunneling is normally a consideration that you have of sucking traffic back to the green box, not sucking it from an express route connected location into the VNet. So what are our options here? Well, let's first of all consider the scenario where we've got a virtual WAN secured hub. In this scenario, the configuration is quite straightforward. On the express route connection here, which connects to the AVS circuit, which means you've got a default route floating around that's been used by your spokes for Azure Firewall, et cetera. If you want to also propagate that default route down to your express route connection, then you can come into this line here and you can 
enable the default root propagation. Just to show you what that looks like in the portal, if you have a secured hub, you'd come in here, choose one of your express root connections, the one that goes towards AVS, and you would set that to be protected for internet traffic. What you can also do with virtual WAN is have granularity in default root propagation at the express root connection level. So just because you send a default route here to AVS doesn't mean you have to send it back to on-premises. So by doing that, you've effectively groomed traffic to Azure Firewall and out to the internet via its normal behavior. Let's imagine a scenario now that's more complicated. Let's imagine you are a regular customer managed hub and spoke environment with Azure Firewall and Express Route. Is there any way of advertising a default route this way? Well, the answer is yes, but it's much, much more complicated. And without getting into too much detail, the only way of achieving this today is to deploy Azure Route Server. Remember, Azure Route Server is an endpoint that lets us talk BGP to the Azure Fabric. This can talk to the Express Route VNG if you turn on branch to branch with Azure Route Server. Now, Azure Firewall today doesn't speak BGP, so in order to influence the routing, you're going to need a BGP speaker, aka an NVA, which sends the default route to Azure Route Server with the next hop IP set as the Azure Firewall VIP. If you do all of those things, the net result will be the same. You send traffic this way, and it heads over here. In a previous video on Express Route Transit Options, I touch on a design pattern that's very similar to this, wherein we insert Azure Firewall using Azure Root Server and a software BGP speaker. So check out that video. OK, so we understand our options for AVS to spoke, which was very straightforward. We understand our options for AVS to internet, which was very straightforward with VWAN, more complicated with VNet. The third flow, which sometimes crops up in AVS discussions, is what if I want to insert Azure Firewall between my on-premises location and AVS? Well, the first thing to understand, and again, in this video on Express Route Transit Patterns, I spend about 20 minutes talking about this problem in much more detail. I'll cover it here in summary just for the benefit of viewers of this video. First thing to understand would be that by default, in Azure, this flow is not enabled. You can't go ER circuit to ER circuit via an express route gateway. That, that express route gateway doesn't act as a router between those two connections. Therefore, the recommended pattern for AVS to on-prem connectivity is we use express route global reach between these circuits here. And this is the pattern that 95 out of 100 customers will use. So it comes from on-prem, goes into the Microsoft Edge on their existing green circuit, traverses the Microsoft backbone, enters AVS via the orange circuit, and then goes to the various VMs on AVS, and the return traffic flows back this way. The options for firewall in there will be the NSX firewall inside of AVS, and any pre-existing firewall you've got in your cloud edge here, physically where the express route is terminated. Sometimes you get the question, well, is it actually possible at all to insert Azure Firewall in this flow? The short answer is yes, it's technically possible. And your options involve removing the global reach connection here and either using a virtual WAN hub with a preview feature called routing intent, which can force traffic like this, or using a derivative of the design we just talked about for regular VNets using the route server and the BGP speaker to point traffic to Azure Firewall. Again, this third flow that I'm talking about is covered in detail in this video here, so please check that out. Anyway, if you were trying to answer this on the face of it, simple question around Azure Firewall and AVS integration, hope this video was useful and at least gives you the pointers to go and research and think about it further. Thanks a lot.